Hello guys, welcome back. In the previous video guys, we were talking, we had set up Laravel. So today is another brand new day and we just want to, wanted to dive into the cause of what happens inside Laravel. So what you need to do is go to your computer, uh, type Visual Studio Code uh, and then it will appear visual studio code and then you open up your project uh, if you have forgotten the name of the project it was called tutorial app you just go to visual studio code open window and that window is uh, from that window open file okay open folder open folder and then you're going to look for tutorial app tutorial app so this is uh, i told you inside hot, hot dogs uh there is a folder called tutorial app this is where your project is and then uh you need xamp xamp is your is your server so you type you type uh xamp xamp and then you'll see something like that and then you, you can run it as, as an administrator you run your project as an administrator and then you start uh, you start apache and then just stop and then you start you start as apache you start apache and mysql mysql is a database server apache is the it's like the domain in a real time uh, real time uh, uh, coding so uh, what next is you need to go to your command line so your command line or terminal you just go on top of your visual studio code and then hit new terminal and then you will see a new terminal and then because uh, you have already installed laravel uh, you have installed laravel uh, all the prerequisite, the node and all that you don't have to worry about that so in your terminal just write php artisan serve okay so that is your you will see that your your application will run on port 8000 uh, localhost port 8000 you can copy that link control c and then you can open your browser you can open your browser and then you can just type you can put that link port 8000 and then hit enter as you can see you have your laravel project when you see something like this you have your laravel project so welcome to programming i'll be your host zach orengo and thank you for watching us and consider subscribing to our youtube channel and be part of this community so next we are going to to look into the filing folder structure of laravel so i had told you earlier we have uh, there, are, there are different folders we have app console all these folders but we are going to look at some of the major folders that will be looking into it on a real time day to day basis so the first folder is okay remember something i told you about model views controllers so we have a folder called controllers there we have models uh, models there and then we have controllers 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 models and then views so views are inside resources okay resources in resources you see css javascript and views so uh, laravel consumes a uh, file type of php and those types are always like they are blade files okay they are php files but they are also blade files uh, that means it can take both html and css at html uh, and uh, css also javascript at the same time so it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a blade it's a blade fi file so inside welcome you'll see a folder like welcome and it has all that blah 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 all those uh, those writings that it is it has an html sorry for using blah 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 but it has a html type inside at the same time it has php you can see if statement and at the same time so that is how you create so basically inside the resources you can create your own files you can create your own files you can create about us you can create services and then there's also another major thing called the view the roots 
So the routes is how you redirect your users from either sides of your website. Either he wants from about us to contact us to to log in. So uh, those are the some of the files that we are going to be looking into and those are the files we are going to create so basically we can create a simple static website or at the same time we can create a complex dynamic website whereby we are going to be creating things like applications um, apis and all that so as you can see uh, this is a simple uh, custom Laravel application uh, just as it is from the manufacturer uh, let's call them the manufacturer basically it's uh, from the, the the code so basically you have not started writing any code and then at the same time we have databases inside databases we have migrations migrations is when you create something inside a database let's say you want to create users so this is a these are pieces of code uh, that writes that writes uh, uh, the structure of a of a of a table inside a database. Okay, structure of a table inside a database. Let's say I'm talking about uh, users. Users in a database. I have a database called uh, Wakulima. Uh, wakulima wakulima database and then inside wakulima database i have table users and inside table users i will have first name last name email address personal id something like that and then password and all that so those are the fields the fields that we call uh, the fields inside that uh, table so guys i'm trying to I hope i'm not taking you that far so i'll just go inside the migration if there is one and i will explain it with a, a, vir, a, a, a simple sense of view um, i don't know what i've done that okay let's go back there uh sorry if i open folder recent uh, tutorial app that's the goodness with the laravel the filing structure is very simple so you just hit on that let's call uh, table users this is what i was talking about the design of creating tables inside your database is called uh, that design part is called a migration whereby you will have table users this is what it means the schema is uh, is that design for for that table you have table users and then inside that table users you have first name email address email verification password token timestamp so that is inside that table users you can still add your own fields uh, you can still add your if you add your own fields you will have to drop that database you have to drop that uh, table and then re run again that migration and then the fields that you have inserted into your system uh, let's say i want to insert first name last name and email address like that i just do that i just copy paste three of them or four of them just like that so the first one is going to be first name first name uh, first name and then last name so for that control C last name so that one is going to be a last name and then uh, last name last name sorry for that last name and then remember database does not allow like when you are doing these schemas does not allow you to do duplicate if you do name name it will refuse to run so the, the last one is let's say uh, customer id the last one is let's say uh, id number id id 
be in number okay something like that that is just for demonstration purposes uh, i'll try to use uh, the fundamentals of uh, like laravel let me just use also small characters f and then also last name so like i can use the pascal type pascal type of uh, uh, that is the pas i think the pascal you, you, uh, i think it's the pascal where you uh you, you, you use small letters like that so and also id number so if i do that uh, that is i've created my table and when i do migrations we're going to do on to, to look on that in the next in the next piece of video but the main aim of uh, today was just to explain to you that inside that is the principle you have to have in mind uh, when you are talking about uh, Laravel, you do MVC, model, views, and controllers. So, and then databases. So, you see, if you are not good in uh, that, in dynamic things, you can still create absolutely beautiful websites using using HTML, using Laravel. And in the next video, we are going to piece up. Uh, so basically you have talk and then cedars let's talk about cedars cedars uh, is uh, when you have uh, information let me say you have information that uh, let's say we, we have let's just still use table uh, table users so a cedar is a is a file whereby you are going to create a specific information let's say these are users so you will create a table of users we will create a, a a a table this is you're going to create information of users inside that cedar so that when you run the database it will insert those those users inside your inside your cedar inside inside your, your table right now let's say you have table users let me use some something on on laravel on on my php admin uh, just a simple uh, explanation so let's say i don't have a laravel application here so let's just do something like called php artisan migrate so that it creates uh, it creates those data that use those tables inside our our database so we go php artisan migrate PHP, uh, PHP artisan, PHP artisan migrate. So let me just move it a little bit. PHP artisan migrate. So it is going to ask you. You don't have a database table name tutorial app. Do you want to create it? Yes. And then I just hit enter, and then it's going to prepare those tables okay so with that you are creating you are writing you are writing those fields inside the, the database okay so that is just one so when you go back to your php la mysql you will just refresh and then you will see a table called tutorial app initially we had table users okay we had table users and these table users didn't have the first name email uh, yeah the first name email address and that it was, oh, it was only name email address and all that so that is what i what i really mean uh, i've created this these three tables these three fields i've added them inside so you can also create your own custom custom fields inside your your code inside your inside your application the way you want to design your application so that is what we called uh, using um, migration okay so what i meant was to do seeding i will create a uh, either function called a seeder table seeder now table user seeder so i will create let me use an example I will create a table called I'll create a, a table of users with this information first name last name email address something like that either 10 or 10 users just to get started so inside your ta table and then you fill them inside this table when you call uh, when you call on, on users you have 10 users inside your table right away so guys this has been, this is going to be fun and it is going to be very informative imagine 
now this information is priceless and uh, my thought is uh, i want to build this community so that also you guys can support me so that we can do this thing in in unity in oneness and with love so that if you want to to know more about coding and programming you can just stay tuned to this channel so guys i really appreciate in the next video in the next video we, we are going to see that uh, we are going to to encompass uh, more about controllers we are going to talk about controllers at the same time we are going to create models uh, so today it was just about uh, roles uh, we, we have talked about database seeding and migration and filing structure in general at the same time we have also looked at uh, yeah, we have also looked at mysql uh, mysql database so guys thank you and continue subscribing to our youtube channel we are going to go far uh, for those people who want to know more about coding and Akitu, asante sana na washukuru sana be part of this community thank you friends and i welcome you back see you in the next video nothing to lose